All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button if you have not already and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of these updates um, that you know I bring out for you guys. You know, I'm trying my absolute best to give you guys what you want and so far your support has been literally through the roof. Appreciate you guys and if you guys wanna see other projects, let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to make those updates for you guys. So now if we're looking at VeChain up 3.3% on the daily time frame, but you know, let's hold off a little bit. Let's remind ourselves how amazing the entire market is looking. Today we did see Bitcoin pushing back up, you know, above uh, $51,500. Um, so, you know, that is of course really, really nice to see, especially the fact that we're in a weekend and on the weekends, we do tend to see more manipulation across the board, but definitely altcoins are feeling the love right now and that is no secret so let's take a step further and see what is happening with our good old friend vchain and when could we see that explosive move that you know everyone is waiting for right now the 78.6 fibonacci retracement level retest which we haven't seen for quite some time so now if we're looking at the price of vchain as of february 25th we're literally almost coming to an end for the month of uh you know february which is absolutely insane to think of um but you know if you're looking at the price of vchain right now four point um so you could say 4.5 cents if you round it up um and uh, it's also up 1.5 percent over the past 24 hours in usd compared with its market cap continuously is holding really really strong above three billion dollar mark and this is what i want you guys not to forget you know we're seeing the market cap holding really strong at the 3.2 billion dollar mark and that is showing the momentum is not slowing down people are starting to do their research people are starting to realize what vchain is all about and I think, you know, there's a more upside than downside for VeChain now in the upcoming months ahead of us. You know, uh, downside, you know, we had that pretty much over the last two years almost. So, you know, people have the opportunity to pick up VeChain at literally 1.2 cents. If you really had done your due diligence and research and actually believed in the project and wanted to dollar cost averaging, you know, that opportunity was there for a long, long time. Um, but I think, you know, things are going to get more exciting from here on. Uh, but yeah, let's take it a step further. Uh, but before I do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so of course you know bitcoin price is worthwhile noting um you know since we broke towards this uh, yearly high on february 14th which was almost a week back you can pretty much see we have been trading sideways around that level which is showing a lot of a beautiful strength obviously we are going to see manipulation um you know what i mean by manipulation is you know there's longs and shorts that get liquidated left and right um and you know that happens you know that is is part of the game you know cryptocurrency especially bitcoin is one of the biggest asset class if not you know it's now considered one of a, the biggest asset class in the finance world people are taking it really seriously so of course you know longs and shorts are going to get liquidated you know whales are going to come and manipulate the markets and that's what we're seeing happening but what's worthwhile noting is how strong the price of bitcoin has been holding since it's broke into uh this level you know we've been trading sideways and that is showing you know the strength is not ending anytime soon especially now that you know this confirmation we saw this bounce and you know if it's able to get back above um you know 52,500 in my opinion and start retesting you know the 53,000 dollar mark you know this can give us a confirmation of a massive strength for bitcoin so that's something you know you need to keep in mind as well and of course if you're looking at bitcoin dominance which has been coming down uh if you've been watching my other updates of course you know i've indicated this you know Bitcoin is looking great, but right now we're seeing altcoins outpacing BTC because, you know, dominance is pulling down. So a lot of profit from Bitcoin is shifting towards altcoins, in my opinion. The money is not flowing out. So what? that's the best thing to look at. You know, we're seeing money still in the space. You know, money is not leaving outside the crypto space. So that shows that, you know, money's coming in and, um, you know, it's staying in and uh, it's going towards altcoins and that is beautiful beautiful to see so now let's take a look at our good old friend v chain so what v chain has done you know the as far as the price it goes guys you know this is exactly you know what i mean this is exactly what you want to be seeing after you see a breakout like this after you see a breakout like this the way v chain is holding at key resistance levels that's what you want to see happen. You don't want to see a project go up and boom, all the way back down to its main key support line, which is literally at, you could say, 
uh, 3.3 cents. And we know the significance of this uh, resistance prior uh, to it becoming a support now, of course. Uh, so, you know, these are some factors we need to keep in mind, but the way VeChain is holding is worthwhile noting. And as mentioned earlier in this update, the question that you guys might have right now is when are we going to see the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level? Because that, guys, is the main target I have my eyes on. As I've said that hundreds and hundreds of times, you know, this is where I think excitement levels are going to even increase for VeChain because, you know, this will officially end, you know, this consolidation phase, this boring price momentum. And I think getting back into the 78.6 will bring in more FOMO, which will kickstart um, you know, the bull run for VeChain. So what we have seen right now, in my opinion, is nothing as to what we will see in the upcoming future ahead of us, very near future as well. So, um, you know, one thing I want you guys who are holding VeChain right now to really read this, you know, this kind of goes over, gives you guys an you know, reminder as to what VeChain is doing and what I've been literally talking like a broken record about for such a long time. And, you know, people were talking negative, you know, VeChain is this, VeChain is that. But, you know, people that actually have been paying attention and have been accumulating VeChain through its, um, you know, lows of, um, you know, the bear market are already up quite a bit. You know, if you want to put that into perspective too, you know, there were times VeChain dropped down to 1.3 cents. So imagine you picked it up around 1.4 cents. You are up right now already 223%. Um, and of course, um, you know, at its yearly high, you would have been up almost 300%. So, you know, that's that. Kudos to the people that were accumulating the bloodbath. And, you know, as you guys know, there's a famous saying, be greedy while others are fearful, be fearful while others are greedy. And the ones that were greedy while there was so much, um, you know, FUD and, you know, bloodbath, those are the people that are smiling right now. But, you know, if you are a newcomer coming into this space and you want to kind of get a glimpse of what VeChain is doing, because I'm not going to sit here and bore you guys and go through it because I've covered VeChain thousands of times. Literally, you guys can go even in the previous uh bear market I was talking about VeChain and uh, not just the bear market that we're coming out of I'm talking about the pre previous one previous cycle so you know I don't want to sit here and talk to you guys uh, about like you know VeChain um, you know in more in depth uh, but you know this right here you know reflexivity research you know I would really really uh, encourage you guys to go over through this this is perfect perfect um you know article uh posted by them to really give you guys a glimpse as to what v chain is all about so i'm loving what i'm seeing resistance coming in the way still hopefully we push back up to five cents and you know if we're able to push back into five cents i think off we go towards new yearly highs next main target would be then around 5.5 cents and then six point two cents so that's how i'm currently taking a look at vchain let me know down below what you guys think do you guys agree with something do you guys disagree with something let me know in the comments down below love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out